What's up everyone and welcome back to Geek City. This is going to be a bit of a cramped video because we have a massive April 2022 haul. We're going to be going through everything I purchased. There was a lot, like a lot. And if you saw the thumbnail, that was a little sneak peek, but that's not even all of it. There was just so much stuff. It's crazy. Most of this was purchased by me, but there are a lot, a lot of gifts and stuff because um, uh, there's some rough stuff going on in my life right now or just my family so people have been really supportive and uh yeah so we'll start with the four my sister's watching mr beast in there so if you hear that so we'll start with the 4ks my dad finally got a 4k player so i was starting to be able to get 4ks so the first two ones that i got was i went was at i was at target and i got spider-man no way home for about 30 bucks um, I've already seen it. Look, it looks pretty good on 4K. Um, one of my favorite movies of last year, top five, probably. Um, yeah, I loved it. And so, yeah, Spider Man, uh, No Way Home, right there. Um, I wish that the stores I went to, they didn't have the Walmart exclusive or the Target exclusive. And I wanted to have a steel book. I wanted to get the steel book, but they didn't have it. So kind of sucks the final 4k i got was for seven bucks which is really cheap saving private ryan there's a comic game store there's a game store that i go to called game exchange and they have a like a whole section of 4ks for dirt cheap <coughs> yeah. like you can get steel books for seven dollars and so i wasn't probably gonna buy anything but then i saw this saving private ryan one of my favorite movies of all time but probably one of my my Second favorite Tom Hanks movie with number one being Forrest Gump. But yeah, this was like seven bucks and I just, I had to pick it up. They did have Forrest Gump, but that will be for another time because I'm doing a specific video on that. So I'm going to wait to buy it uh, whenever that time comes. I'm doing a Tom Hanks video in a little bit. So yeah, eventually I will have to get Forrest Gump. Next we'll go with the posters that I got today. Actually, there's a Batman one and then a Simpsons one that has all the characters. I wanted to have some more decoration. Also, I got LEDs, so that will come around, so that'll make it look a little more colorful or something like that. And then, so I'll have to turn the lights off because I'm trying to have a really cool setup. So I thought those posters would maybe help a little bit. Uh, yeah. Next, we'll go into the comic books. <sighs> it's such a big stack though, that I'm. So we'll start with. The things I got in my one of my la the latest videos, it was um, a comic book hunt video, which I've heard just two things. One of them will be in the little action figure section, and the comic book was the Joker. By the way, if you guys want to see that video, go check it out. It was really cool. I did a collab with Jackson Taylor and one other person, and it was kind of expensive because we all had to spend a certain amount of money. So please consider giving that uh, video a like and also subscribing if you want to. But yeah, got this comic book. It was a Joker. And now I don't like to buy just random issues in a series. I'm more into the, like, collector's editions that come with, like, the full volumes. But it just looked really cool, so I thought that I would buy it and just kind of give it a read. Um, and eventually I will put the case on, but I, I wanted to not have the case on while I uh, talk about it. Uh, then this I found at Books A Million was Batman Incorporated, um, Volume 2, Gotham's Most Wanted. And the reason I got this is because it's a really important comic, because this is the death of Damian Wayne. And it's really interesting, because he's killed by himself, and um, just a really sad, tear-jerking story. And so it's a really important comic book, so I wanted to pick it up, because I'm trying to get all those really important comic books. And this would have to be one of them. So if you're trying to get into Batman comics, um, this would be one I would suggest. I'm doing a video on like my own little made-up chronological order, which is perfect. It gives you all the best stories and stuff um, from all the best comic book storylines formed into one big uh, storyline. Uh, it'll make more sense in the video. Next up, a uh, Harley Quinn comic I got at Ollie's. Uh, Ollie's is really cheap. They're like three bucks for a comic, so I got this one. Um, pretty big Harley Quinn fan. I actually like her a tad bit more than Joker, so I got uh, Night and Day right here. Uh, yeah, I haven't read it yet. I will eventually, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I've been really busy, but yeah. 
that out of the way. And then the final one was one my dad found in Tennessee. There's a comic book store called Cadets, a small one, and they had some cool stuff. And so they got me this like, Indiana Jones um, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And what's really cool is it's a recreation of the entire movie in the one little comic book. So that's really cool that that exists, actually. And it's an older comic uh, by, I believe, yeah, Marvel Movie Spotlight. So that's really cool. Um, I'll give that a read, maybe do a review on it. So now we're gonna go into the collection, and this is one, it's really big. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of all this stuff, and it just, it's huge. Uh, that's what you said, but, um, all right, so let's get back. Uh, we'll start with the Mortal Kombat McFarlane figures, because that's the most, um, I got a whole bunch of them. So we'll start, we'll see if I can even fit. I'm gonna put on this side so you can't see them. You already saw them, but or you didn't see all of them, so. <laughs> so many. So first up, we have Liu Kang. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, I already owned some of these, and I liked them, so I started picking them up more and collecting them more and more. So we got Liu Kang, you know, you're gonna have all the essentials, Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. You gotta have Liu Kang, because he's one of the essentials they haven't made sonya blade or jacks yet but i hope they do so i can pick those up and then have all of the really main characters i still need to find sub-zero and scorpion because they're a little rare but i know where to go to get them they're just not the cheapest ever but it's hard to find them on like amazon and all those places so i'll probably check ebay and if there's nothing on ebay then i will go to that store because they're like 30 bucks each and that's not the amount i'd like to spend on these but if that's all there is then i'll do it but yeah back to luke hang uh yeah you know, you gotta have these symbols, and I'm trying to get all of them. There's only three I don't own yet, and I'd like them to make a shame, so that'd be really cool. Next up, the second thing in our little budget challenge was this really cool spawn. Um, they made so many spawn figures in the Mortal Kombat toy, like, Farland line, but I don't understand why they don't make, like, the characters that they haven't made any for, because they made, like, a million Sub-Zeros and Scorpions and Spawns. Why don't they make, like, Jack and Jax and, uh... Sonya Blade, Cassie Cage, um, Shang, some like the characters they haven't uh, made one for. And they just announced that they're doing another Baraka and a Nightwolf. A Nightwolf looks really cool, so I'll do a review on that, trying to find it. So yeah, Spawn, not the first variant, but it's one of the variants, and it was so cool. I just couldn't pass it up, and I got a deal on it, so that made it even better. So yeah, guys, check out that budget challenge. It's really cool. I won't spoil who won, but it was this was really cool. Next one, Shao Kahn, and I hate that the new wave, some of them are loose, so this, and I'm not gonna open it, but this one's loose, which that kind of stinks. Now, all, I got a lot of the new wave, I got all of them in the new wave, and luckily none of them had the loose stuff, but this one does, and it bugs me. Um, yeah, Shao Kahn, again, gotta have the essentials, the OGs, he is one of the OGs, right here, Shao Kahn, looking pretty cool. I didn't get the standard one, I got the, like, iron, like, the silver one that's the one that i liked i didn't like the silver one but this was a really cool one so i took this bad boy up <laughs> almost on next up we have joker really cool um figure and of course in the back has like the ha ha stuff yeah really cool figure one of the ones that i really wanted to get um but i don't understand why they made joker and why they didn't make like molina or again one of the characters that we really need to have but joker yeah really cool um Probably the only crossover character we're gonna get because I highly doubt we're gonna get like Terminator, Robocop, or other characters like that. Now, Spawn makes sense because McFarlane is the toy company that makes us Todd McFarlane created Spawn, but yeah. So that makes sense, but like, I'm honestly a little surprised they were able to make Joker, but DC and McFarlane did a lot of stuff together, so they were able to pull it off. Um, yeah, really cool figure. One of my favorites in the whole line. Probably a little biased just because I love Joker, but. Next up, my least favorite character in Mortal Kombat X, but in Mortal Kombat 11, he's much better. Uh, Kotal Kahn, uh, one of the new ones from the newest wave, and then the next wave will have, like, Nightwolf from Baraka. But, um, yeah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to get my light. Like, yeah, he's really sick. Uh, I like him a lot, and I want to have him. And not much to say. Uh, luckily, his sword wasn't loose, because, like, all the new waves that I got, I have all of them, I think. Uh, Liu Kang, 
Kotal Kahn, Joker, um, I can't think right now, but all of them, the ones I got, didn't have the loose one. The only one that I had was loose was the Shao Kahn. So yeah, Kotal Kahn, pretty cool. Um, yeah. Final one was one that I got for $5, um, and I'll explain why, but a uh, Cabal, really cool, the bloody variant, I liked that one more than the normal variant, because I like violence, so, um, yeah, I picked up the bloody variant, so what happened was, the reason I got it for 5 bucks was because I went to a little checkout area and, like, scan it and see how much it was, and it said there wasn't a price available, so I walked up and I was like, hey, how much would this be, and they didn't really know, so they just kind of guessed, and they're like, um, uh, $5, so I got it for $5, which is an incredible deal, I think at least, um, for this. Yeah, really cool. Then the Funko Pops. I got the Riddler from the Batman. I love the Batman movie. And I want, I didn't own a lot of Riddler stuff, so I didn't get the Batman. I got Riddler just to kind of have the like an original thing. Yeah, really cool. Then one of my favorite Funko Pops I own is um, the Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat, and it's the Glow-in-the-Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive variant with the case and everything. Really, really cool. I love this figure. Um, one of my favorite Funko Pops. This is the coolest out of the four ones they made easily. We're almost done. Uh, next up, G.I. Joe Classified Baroness. Uh, with the motorcycle. I've been hunting this down for a while, but I finally got my hands on it. My dad finally found it, so we were like, yes, I'm going to go ahead and buy that before we don't find it again. I don't care if it was expensive. We bought it because it's like the only time we've seen it. The Target exclusives are pretty frustrating, but whatever. Finally, we have some Blu-rays right over here. So we got... Where the heck did they go? So we have, so we have the Batman 4 film collection. I'm probably going to do some Batman videos now that we have The Flash coming out, and I'm going to do some Batman stuff. I was going to do when Batman come out, but then, like, it was a little too late, and, um, yeah, I just, that didn't work out. But whenever The Flash comes out, I'll be doing a bunch of Flash content and then Batman content, because Batman's in it. Uh, so I went and got the Michael Keaton films, because, you know, Michael Keaton's in it, and then, it came with the, um, I can't pronounce the name, the guy who made these two, I don't know how I forgot, but, yeah, the guy, Joel Schumacher, yeah, Joel Schumacher films, and then the Tim Burton films, really only needed these two, but, whatever, now I have all four of them, and the final one was Mortal Kombat, the, um, movie, I bought this the same time I bought the Cabal, vi um, one, so I, I got those two things for, like, only 20 bucks, it's really good, a uh, really good deal. So yeah, that is everything um, that I bought. Uh, let me know what you got. And uh, this will probably be the only one that's this big because there was just a lot going on. Now, the next ones I'll try to keep consisting. Uh, I, I'm not, I'll try to make them all consistent where there is still stuff in them. So it's not just a me going, here's the one blue I bought. But still, it's not going to be as big as this one. This one was just insane because of stuff. <laughs> Uh, happening. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing down to, um, to the channel. That helps me so much um, to make more content and better and high quality content. Um, I'm trying to increase. And again, I've already made a better setup. I'm going to get the LEDs and everything. Trying my best to make high quality content and so that you guys can help me by liking and subscribing. It helps so much to a point you don't even understand. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know what you got down below in the comment section. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.